Hello, my name is Maya Petrova. I am a medical consultant of Neurosoft company and today we will perform acoustic reflexometry. In particular, we will perform acoustic reflex uh, on the ipsy and contra sides and the acoustic reflex decay after that using audio smart device. This acquisition uh, allows to evaluate the functional state of different neural structures which are formed the acoustic reflex chain cochlea, auditory nerve, cochlear nuclei, brainstem, uh, facial nerve nuclei and facial nerve on the ipsy and contra sides. Specific changes of the acoustic reflexes uh, results observed uh, in the different pathologies, uh, for example, conductive or neurosensorial hearing loss with recruitment or no, or for example, different pathologies uh, of the brainstem or facial nerve. Acoustic reflex is unconditional defend reflex and it's registered on the highly enough intensities of sound. So we need to instruct our patient in a proper way. Also, uh, we need to perform otoscopy and ask our patient about different conditions which can be contraindicated. For example, the cases of hyperacusis. Before acoustic reflex registration, we have performed tympanometry in our patient, so we know the peak's pressure and this value will be automatically used uh, by device in the acoustic reflex registration. If you have a new patient, you should firstly perform tympanometry. How can you do it? You can watch in the previous video. Before the start uh, working with the device, we need to perform a daily calibration using such type of test cavity with a volume of 2 milliliters or integrated cavity in the holder. To calibrate uh, the acoustic reflex coefficients, we will use the big size cavity. To perform the daily calibration, we need to go to the setup menu System Preferences, Timp Daily Calibration. We position the probe in a test cavity and press Start button. We see the measured volume and the calibration process on the different frequencies. Okay, when uh, you need to perform the calibration of the acoustic reflex coefficients, you need to position the probe in a test cavity of big size and press OK. We need to choose the proper size and fit of the probe tip and put it tightly on the probe. For a comfortable walking, we need to place the special shoulder harness on the patient and position the impedance unit here. After that, we need to put the probe tip if the rotating moves deeply enough. When we need to register contralateral acoustic reflex, we should uh, use contralateral headphone. We connect it to a special socket in the plus team lock and position on the patient. Now we are ready to register an acoustic reflex. We need to choose the site and the test will start automatically. We see the seal control process and now the ipsy stimulation is gone. So uh, we see uh, that the compliance of the sound conduction system of the middle ear uh, reduced uh, with the increasing of intensity of stimuli and then it reached uh, the threshold that is put in the template. We can see here, yes, it reached the threshold and the device automatically register this intensity as the threshold for the acoustic reflex. Now we see 
uh, that the Ipsy trials is finished. And uh, if uh, we need a new trial, we can put here on the plus button and choose the necessary parameters. For example, I want to register the contra reflex on the 1000 Hz and put here and the trial will start. You see the stimulation is performed using the contra headphone. And normally now the threshold on the contra side is almost the same or in mostly cases uh, a little bit higher than on the Ipsy side. Uh, we can um, go uh, to another trial if we want using the plus button or also we can manage the list of the attempts in the uh, template. How can you uh, make your own template? I will show you at the end of this video. After that uh, we can save the results or even print if you have a Bluetooth printer or save and export to the PC. Now we have finished an acoustic reflex threshold estimation and now we are ready to go to a acoustic reflex decay procedure. Uh, it allows us uh, to evaluate the functional state of retrocochlear portion of uh, auditory system and during this procedure uh, will be the uh, intensity, loud intensity sound um, which uh, will be given using the probe or contralateral headphone in some cases. So we need to instruct about it our patient and we ask the patient to stay still, not to swallow and not to breathe very deeply during uh, this time. Now we are ready to perform the decay of acoustic reflex, choose the site and the C, the list of parameters to see the pressure at the peak, uh, the intensity of the stimulus as uh, we knew the threshold on the 1000 Hz here in this patient is 80 dB, so uh, we need to put uh, the intensity in the decay 10 dB above the threshold, so 19 dB is optimal. And the duration of the stimuli is 10 seconds. It's okay. We start the process and the sound will switch on to the 10 seconds and to see the compliance reduced uh, because the stapedius muscle is constructed during the sound. Then the sound switch off, the compliance go on to the baseline and to see that uh, the percent of the reducing or the compliance during the stimulation, 10 second stimulation, is here in this uh, patient only 11 percent. This is a normal value. The normal value is uh, till the 50 percent and in cases uh, then the decay percent is above than 50 percent. Uh, is tell us about non-oncological pathologies of the retrocochlear a part of auditory um, system and if in your patient decay is more than 90 percent it is uh, very suspicious to the oncopathology for example vestibular schwannoma Now I will show you how can we set up the test templates. We see the test settings. After that we need to choose the necessary procedure. A few words about how can we manage 
the process of uh, simultaneously registration of tympanogram and acoustic reflex. Go here to a tympanogram. To see that the current template is timp standalone, but also we can choose tympanogram and after that acoustic reflex registration. In such cases, please put the dot here and then you will register tympanogram. After that, uh, automatically the system uh, will go to the acoustic reflex registration. Uh, in such cases, then you want to uh, set up uh, also acoustic reflex by itself template. Go here and you see one default template, but you can, can't change anything, any parameters here. If you want to change some parameters, you need to create the new template name it and after that you see that you can change for example the mode of viewing also you can change the sensitivity threshold the step of increasing the intensity step by step and so on also you can edit sequences list as i have said before so maybe you want to register Ipsi and Contra by default. So you need to choose what frequencies do you want to register. Also, you can use not only pure tones, but also, for example, white noise. You can choose it if you want. After you finished, you go to the main menu and after that all the registration will made according to the parameters using in your own template. Today uh, we have watched uh, with you how to perform acoustic reflex threshold estimation and the acoustic reflex decay tests. I hope that this video uh, was useful for you. Thank you for your attention.